All right, the BB160 traction motor assembly, um, removal, disassembly, cleaning, inspection, repair, test, and assembly, installation, toolkit, SC494097CLE12, um, pinion, uh, pinion depth gauge, the feeler gauge, the magnet flux, the dial indicator, portable propane torch, disassembly toolkit, induction heater, um, large hydraulic press, suitable lifting device, convention and oven, lifting sling, equipment conditions, reference to paragraph 335 and 336. 363 materials abrasive cloth dry cleaning solvent grease um clear clear agelic liquor lacquer electrical installation varnish gray gloss enamel electrical tape rubber installation paint um lubricating oil iron blue pigment gear lubrication installation paper one inch eye bolt dry ice safety wire um condition description speed sensor alternator removed and traction motor gear unit removed from wheel axle unit all right removal the removal of the traction motor from the gear unit, the following, the lock, remove the lock wire um, from the three um, cap screws and lock washers, remove the hypoid, hypoid oil pan, number three. Measure the record and foul. The end of the end, the end of the play from the intermediate, the intermediate, intermediate shaft distance from the intermediate shaft to the face of the pinion, and backlash, backlash of the ring gear when moved into the mesh. Um, warning: Components of the traction motor are heavy and may be awkward to handle. The use of the correct lifting device or lifting procedure, identifying the lifting device and or assistance from other personnel to avoid injury. Install a one-inch eye bolt into the hole provided with the bottom of the motor frame. Use as a, whole, a suitable lifting device. Take a take up an eye bolt until the weight is just a, uh, um, taken up. Use a punch and punch motor mark motor gear case for the pro 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 proper insulation. Reach th uh, through the fan openings and remove the 12 cap screws and lock washer 6. Um... Install the two cat sc jack screws in the two tapped holes provided with the gear case and jack motor from the gear unit. So right there is your little eye bolt. Um, this is the jack motor and the gear unit. Um, install the motor lifting bracket and place the motor on the floor. The vertical position adequate supported on the motor nose uh, suspension suitable support support device. Note the disassembly toolkit following procedure recommended for the removal of the hypoid pinion. However, any tool that does not com cause damage to the pinion or other parts or any other method can be accomplished in the same manner and may, um, may be used. Remove the bolt and tab washer. Use the puller and remove the oil sling to um, expose the armature shaft threads. Check the pinion bore for the clean and smooth conditions. Fill the chamber with the armature pinion shift um, shaft within one inch of the top of the pinion bore with oil. Do not trap air while filling. Um, Use the piston puller rod to disassemble the toolkit, pump the armature shaft and chamber, and purge the chamber of air. To, um, warning, to prevent barrel from coming loose, cause injury to the personnel, check the air, that the screws all the way down the armature shaft threads are, if un, unable to screw the barrel all the way down, remove the barrel and repair the damaged threads. Um, remove the pull rod, leaving the piston in the place, and screw the barrel disassembly toolkit into the armature shaft. Uh, screw the assembly disassembly toolkit into the barrel unit. One eighth of an inch clearance is less in between the pinion and the cap. Insert a one inch diameter bar in the in the hole provided with the bottom of the um, cap. The disassembly toolkit steady for the cap position socket wrench on the bolt. Um, disassembly continued. Warning: um, the pinion gear will snap off suddenly on a prior. Under approximately 50 to 90 tons of pressure, personally must stand in either side of the motor put when pulling the pinion gear. Injury of death can result. Pinion gear on the traction motor and the ring gear of the gearbox are matched on the set and must be removed and installed together. If one of the replaced, both must be replaced. Pull up evenly on the bolt of the force position down into the pinion bore. When the sufficient force of the has been built up, pinion will break loose. Loose from the pinion bore. Approximately 50 to 90 tons pressure is required to break the pinion loose. Um, remove the disassembly toolkit. Remove the hypoid pinion. Use the puller, remover, spacer, inner bearing race. Uh, mark the hub of the fan and head of the armature so that the fan can be mounted in the same location and assembly. Place the motor in horizontal position using the puller and disassembly toolkit. Remove the fan and the armature. Remove the four cap screws, lock washers, and clamp in the wire bracket. Remove the two covers, tag, and disconnect the brush leaders. Remove the four cap screws, lock washer clamps, and brush holders. Remove the brushes from the br brush holders and refer to TM5522102242412. Um, wrap insulating paper around the communicator to prevent damage. Uh, 
disassembly, continue to remove the eight cap screws, lock washers, 27, install the 3 eighths, of an, 3 eighths 16 by 15 uh, inch in a guide bolt, th bolt between the two holes in the end of the plate into the bearing position housing. Install the two jack bolts on the tap holes provided with the jack armature out of the motor housing and the two guide bolts. When armature is 37, uh, armature is two to three inches from the end of the um, frame. Install a sling around the armature. Use a suitable lifting device. Support the remove the armature. Remove the guide bolts from the bearing housing. Remove the four flat-headed screws, bearing cap, the ga and the gasket. Straighten the two tab bars. Remove the four cap screws, tab bars, clamping the plate. Use a puller and disassembly toolkit. Remove the ball bearings, the bear ho bearing housing, using a press and press ball, ball bearings from the bearing housing. This assembly continued. Warning. Heated heated parts may cause injury to the personnel if the hand is protected. It is not worn when handled. If a hand protection is not worn when handled, wear protective gloves for the maximum protection. No, some material parts must have the heated to um, have to be heated to be released from the shrink from their shrink fit when it becomes necessary to use the portable propane torch. A portable hydraulic pre press or puller tools are recommended for disassembly. Um, use the torch, apply the heat, and expended seal, seal collar. Slide off the um, shaft in the armature. Remove the eight cap screws, lock washers, end plate, and shim pack from the motor housing 42. Disassembly continued. Um, the sum of gear of the unit of the following, remove the 10 cap screws, lock washers, the two upper seals, ring gaskets, remove the two upper axle linings, remove the six cap screws, lock washer, cover plate, and gaskets, remove the nine cap screws, lock washers, placing the jack screws in the tape holes and bearing housing, and the remove the bearing housing in the gearbox, remove the uh, split, um, split space, remove the nine cap screws, lock washer, place the jack screw in the tap holes, bearing housing, and remove the bearing housing from the gearbox, remove the shim pack, keep the shim pack together, use a suitable lifting device, Remove the intermediate shaft assembly gearbox. Disassemble by the following. Use suitable puller. Remove the bearing end from the roller assembly from the intermediate shaft. Remove the lock wire and the nine bolts jacking the screws. And do not and um, remove the hypoid gear from the intermediate shaft. Remove the lock wire and nine cap screws. Use the jack screws. Remove the bearing housing and gasket. Remove, use a suitable puller. Remove the bearing from the gearbox. Use a suitable puller. Remove the bearing races. Uh, races 71 and 72. The bearing houses. And... Um, and clean and um, clean and inspect. So there's your hypoid gear, your gearing box, and uh, hmm. clean and inspection and repair. Um, clean and inspect the repair and hypoid gear. The following: the dry cleaning PD680 is toxic flammable. Wear protective gloves and goggles. Use only when well ventilated areas. Avoid contact with the skin and eyes closed. Do not breathe the vapors. Do not use near open flames. Excessive heat. The flash point of 100 to 138 degrees. If you become dizzy, get fresh in air immediately. Get medical aid. And if the contact with eyes is made, wash your eyes and get medical aid immediately. Um, compressed air used for cleaning purposes will not exceed 30 psi. Do not direct compressed air against skin. Use goggles and full face shield. Use a dry cleaning solvent. Clean the hypoid gear dry with a compressed air. Magnaflux hypoid gear. Inspect for cracks. No cracks allowed. Visual inspection hypoid gear from the broken, chipped, and pitted tooth. Maximum damage of 5% of the total working surface of the teeth. Inspect the outside bore of the hypoid gear surface. Must be smooth. Use a fine grade of sandpaper and polish the surface. Replace the hypoid gear if the damage is beyond repair. Clean inspection continued. Clean inspect the repair of the bearings assembly and um, 34, 30, 61, 62, and 69 by the following. The dry cleaning solvent PD 680 is a toxic flammable. Wear protective gloves and goggles. Use only well ventilated areas. Avoid contact with skin, eyes, and clothes. Do not breathe the vapors. Do not use any open flame. Excessive heat. The flash point of 100 to 138 degrees Fahrenheit. If you come dizzy, get the fresh air immediately. Get a medical aid immediately. If contact with eyes, make sure you wash your eyes and get medical aid immediately. Compressed air used for the clean purposes will not extend 30 psi. Do not direct compressed air against the skin, use the goggles or full face shield. Use your dry cleaning or remove the grease for the bearings, bearing cap with the clamping of the plate and seal collar end plate of the bearing housing with the end compressed air. Inspect the parts for wear cracks, breaks, install the roller from the cracks and pits. Uh, inspect the rollers from the cracks and pits. Inspect the parts for discolorization, indication, overheat, and replace the parts that are damaged. Note, um, do not paint gasket surfaces. Paint, um, paint bearing houses with electrical insulation varnish and replace the gasket. 
Cleaning inspection to prepare. Continue cleaning inspection repair armature by the following dry cleaning solvent PD sixty eighty is toxic flammable wear protective goggles and gloves. Use only in well ventilated areas. Avoid contact with the skin, eyes, and clothes. Do not breathe vapors. Do not use near open or excessive heat. They use a flash point of one hundred to one hundred thirty eight degrees Fahrenheit. If it become dizzy, get the fresh air and immediately and get a medical aid aid. If in contact with the eyes are made, wash your eyes and get a medical aid immediately. Compress air used for cleaning purposes will not exert thirty psi. Do not direct compress air against the skin. Use goggles or full face shield. Caution: dry cleaning solvent. It must not get on the communicator, copper parts, or the coil so, or windings. Damage to the equipment will result. Um, note that the damage to the armature must be repaired with the depot level maintenance facility. Blown carbon di dust from the armature assembly with the compressed air, the direct air of the pockets through the openings in the armature to remove the internal um, accumulation of the dirt using a wiping rag. Dab them with the tri cleaning solve the wipe armature of the surface to remove the external grease for the dirt. Tri clean with the air to remove the high, heavy cake deposit of dirt in vital ventilation holes of the armature with the dry or ring or wire brush. Inspect the journal damage to the journal. Shows that the signs of the bearing and slippage. Replace the armature. Inspect the pinion end of the journal. Check the um, threads for the amount of damage. Check the surface where the pinion gear is mates and the smooth. They use the fine grade of the sandpaper position uh, polished surface. Inspect the varnish surfaces for the soil coil insulation. Replace insulation with blistered, flacked, and cracked. Check the bands are tight and secure with the salt soldering in intact. Cleaning inspection um, repair um, continued. Use dial indicator. Check the communicator roughness of the out roundness. The communicator is out of the round. There is only um, zero two th um, ten. 0 to on um, 2 percent um, 0.0 to 0.2 bearings over the six bar span inspect the surface with the wear bearings of pit and check with the mica under the cut the depth of 1 16th to 3 an inch um, the mica depth is not within these limits the undercutting of the saw groove of the mica clean the slots between the copper guards to remove the burrs Com a warning compressed air with the cleaning purpose will not exceed 30 psi do not do or not direct compressed air against the skin use goggles and full face shield use the dry clean compress remove the loose mica copper of the communicator do no do not paint the communicator point surface of the, paint the surface of coil insulation with the electrical insulation varnish clean inspect repair motor housing by the following dry cleaning solve the pd 680 soxable flammable wear protective goggles and gloves use only when well ventilated areas avoid contact with the skins and clothes do not breathe vapors do not use near open flames excessive heat the flash point of 100 to 138 degrees fahrenheit if you become dizzy get fresh air immediately at the medical aid if the contact eyes with wash of the eyes and get medical aid immediately compressed air used for cleaning purposes will not exceed 30 psi do not direct compressed air against Skin, use goggles with full face shield. Use a wiping ram to happen with the dry clean solvent. Remove the dirt and foreign material from the motor frame of the field's assembly drive with compressed air. Check with the field coils and lead of the cable communicator are secure. Clean inspection repair continued. See the ch check the shunt and inner pole to fields are tight. Note that do not paint the machine side surface. Um, paint installation surface with electrical insulation paint. Clean inspection repair brush shoulders of the following dry clean solvent. The PD60 is taxable, flammable, and wear protective goggles and go goggles and gloves. Use uh, only in well ventilated areas. Avoid contact with skin, eyes, and clothes. Do not breathe vapors. Do not use near open flame. Excessive heat with a flash point of 100 138 degrees Fahrenheit. It becomes dizzy. Fresh air immediately. Get medical aid immediately. And if the eyes come the end, is made uh, contact is made wash your eyes and get medical aid immediately compress air used for cleaning purposes will not extend 30 psi do not direct compress air of the skin use google goggles and full face shield use the dry cleaning solvent the clean brush hold holders dry clean compress air and inspect the brush holders wear for the cracks and breaks and replace the defective brush holder inspect the insulator break for the cracks and burns and dull surfaces replace defective insulator pressing off the stud and pressing the new one on inspect the stud for the cracks and breaks respect um place the defective studs and pre pressing out of the brush holder and press the new one on and um, inspecting the spring assembly the tension check for the braiding is not afraid to replace the defective spring and assembly note do not paint the inside of the brush holder paint brush holders will wear with um, clear, clear acrylic lacquer um, cleaning inspection, inspection and repair the inspection gearbox of the following warning the dry cleaning solvent the PD 680 the taxable flammable wear protective goggles and gloves use only when well ventilated areas avoid contact with skin eyes closed don't breathe the vapors do not use near open flame excessive heat flash point of 100 138 degrees Fahrenheit if you become dizzy get the fresh air immediately get medical aid in contact with the eyes wash your eyes and get medical aid immediately compressed air used for the cleaning purpose will not exceed 30 psi do not direct compressed air against skin use goggles with full face shield use dry cleaning solvent clean um um clear clean clean the gearbox dry with compressed air check with the gear with no, not, not rubbing the, against the gearbox and install with respect inside the metal band metal band should not be intact with an un or un and undamaged replace the gearbox that is damaged paint the outside of the gearbox with a black air drying insulation check the track should motor le leads that are tight and secure replace the insulation of the crack riddle with the three layers with electrical tape using one and a half inch lap um painting the rubberized insulation paint 
Cleaning inspection um, continued. Cleaning inspection repair may, may, remaining parts of the following dry cleaning solvent PD680 detachable flammable wear protective goggles and gloves used only in the well ventilated areas. Avoid contact with skin, eyes, and clothes. Do not breathe vapors. Do not use near open flame. Excessive heat. The flash point is 100 to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. It becomes dizzy. Get the fresh air immediately. Get medical aid. And if the contacts with the eyes, wash your eyes and get medical aid immediately. Compressed air used for the cleaning purposes will not exceed 30 psi. Do not use compressed air against the skin. Use goggles and full face shield. Use dry clean solvent and clean parts with the dry cleaning air. Um, inspect the cracks and breaks and replace defective parts. Paint, in, paint inside of the surface of the covers with the insulation uh, electrical insulation var varnish. Place point, paint the outside of the surface of the motor housing with rubberized insulation paint. Check that no machine surfaces are painted. Refer to Table 3.6 for the traction motor data. The classification the four pole DCM um, communicating pole machine and max motor speed maximum permits 4,600. 150 RPMs, resistance, 700, uh, resistance at 77 degrees Fahrenheit, existing field at 0, 1, 1, or 0, sorry, 0 0.0142 ohms, communicating field at 0, 0.015 ohms, armature at 0, 0.0122 ohms, um, traction motor cleaning and spare table, continued motor, traction motor data, standard independence of 60 sidle AC armature assembled brush field limit lifted um, the maximum exciting field at 9 amps is at 17.5 volts minimum at 15 volt volts um, um, the communication field at 24 amps maximum 18 volts minimum 16 volts uh, 60 cycle AC armature removed maximum 18.8 .8 volts and minimum 17.2 volts and exciting field at 20 amps um, communicating field is at 15 15 amps maximum at 7.7 .7 and minimum at 7.1 pole bears measure between the center opposite pole va faces of exciting field maximum of 11.76 inches and ma uh, minimum of 11.74 inches um, communicating field maximum 11.91 inches minimum of 11.90 in inches uh, point point 90 inch um, nine tenths uh, uh, nine tenths brush data um, press, pressure brush um, pressure per brush seven 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 eighths with eight and a half pound um, size is new five eighths of an inch one three quarters of an inch two inches large uh, minimum length of worn seven eighths of an inch clear brush holder of the communicator one sixteenth of an inch um, cleaning inspection traction motor data um, Continued communicated data type: the arch bound diameter new eight and a half inches diameter minimum worn eighth of an, uh, eight inches and the sand of makeup thickness is zero point five um, point zero point zero four five inches side makeup grooving get, um, depth three sixty fourths of an inch armature mirroring a communicator and of grease capacity two three fourths three three um, two thirds full five ounces of sure, typical typical lubrication ball bearing ball and roller bearing grease uh, RA seventy one zero zero five nine three five zero eight armature and play normal adjustment zero 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 uh, sorry zero point zero zero two zero 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 four um or the wear limit of um ten um ten hundredths of an inch high potential test voltage at 60 acs the um caution to prevent damage to the equipment increasing slowly zero to the given value hold the si hold for 60 seconds decrease slowly to zero um, motor with a re-round armature new field coils at 25,000 volt or 2500 volts motor old amateur with the field coils reconditioned 17 um 50 volt 700 1750 volts Clean inspection table. Continue traction motor data. Axle bearings diameter clearance minimum of the two hundredths and six and uh, minimum maximum of six hundredths of an inch. Um, end play minimum of the six hundred six hundred twenty five hundred um, six hundred twenty five hundredths of an inch to fifteen hundredths of an inch. Um, the temperature of the high bearing high bearing um, housing before the assembly ball bearings 150 to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperature heating of the housing bearings assembly mounting of the armature 195 degrees Fahrenheit. To work the ample clamping um, plate between the assembly bearings after the bearing and shaft. Temperature equalized 100 pounds per foot. Um, temperature of the head heat the deflector insulation bearings at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperature of heater in race spacer assembling a high blade shaft 248 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperature above the shaft. The temperature of the heat of the Armature fan with the mounting 356 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperature of the heating finger finger and wall with the mounting at 302 degrees Fahrenheit. Weights motor only at 1775 pounds. Armature 600 pounds. Motor gearbox accessory 3000 pounds. Um, all right, to do a test, perform the armature starter mega arm meter test by the following armature test and the minimum of a 500 volts or one mega ohm is required for this test place the lead mega mom mega ohm or, um, meter on the shaft of the core of armature put place the lead of the mega ohm meter on the communicator boards note the indication of the mega ohm meter cater each successive bar and then around around the communicator um contact
Warning proceeds to specify a heating of the parts of the disassembly. Assembly heated parts with the excessive injury personnel of the hand injury not war worn and when handling wear protective gloves in the maximum protection. If indication is less than me 3 mega ohms of titanium, ma ma ba bake the armature for 4 hours at um, 200 some degrees at conventional oven. Recheck the after cooling armature room temperature. If indication is still low, replace the armature. Um, the test for the stator test. Attach the lead one mega ohm of th um, three to double um, A double uh, A negative outer sta stator housing. Attach the lead mega ohm three is leg um, lead to the A plus stator housing. Note the indication on the mega ohm meter. Attach the lead on the mega ohm meter for the um, lead for the FF on the stator housing and attach the mega leader on the F negative on the stator housing. Note indication on the mega meter. Um, no, um, the head parts may cause injury. Personal hand of the protection is worn, um, when handling. Wear the protective gloves and maximum protection operation. If an indication less than three megadoms, obtain the two set of leaves, break, bake the stator for four hours at feet, um, 230 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. Conventional oven, recheck the mega ohm meter after cooling the stator for the room temperature. If indications are still low, replace the stator. All right, the test. Um, perform a bar-to-bar -bar resistance test by the following. Place the lead on the multimeter on the shaft core of the armature. Place the lead on the multimeter on one of the communicator bars. Note the record the indication of the multimeter. Contact each successive bar with the communicator reaching the indication. If the test shows that the resistance indication is 10% or more above the average record and the indication of the 20 to more connections, the TIG welding, all coils of blue, um, lead, lead to the communicator tech and connections. The resistance indications of 1.5% become average full scale. Make the deflection multimeter indication short coiled the, to the armature. Um, warning, heated parts may cause injury to the personnel if the hand protection is not warm with handling wear the protective gloves in the maximum protection. Below average readings is going to indicate the presence of water within the coils. If below average readings are obtained, bake the armature in the convention armature for the four hours at 280 degrees to cool at the room temperature. Repeat the step of the B and if the readings are still and replace, uh, replace the armature. Assembly. Um, gear unit. Uh, eight. By the following. Heated and coiled parts may be caused to injury and hip hand protection is not warm when handling wear protective gloves in the maximum protection. Place the bearing on the dry ice. Freeze until the will fit into the gearbox. Remove the bearing of the dry ice. Install the gearbox. Position the gasket in the bearing housing. Install nine cap screws. Lock the cap screws. Place the rear bearing races in the dry set ice. Freeze until the race fits with the respective bearing of the housing. Place the bearing housing in the induction heater. Heat the heater to do the 100 degrees Fahrenheit um, Celsius. Remove the bearing um, he, uh, he, housing from the heater of the bearing race in the dry ice. Place the bearing race in the bearing housing tight against the seat. Cool, let the cool of the temperature. Move the hot bearing housing from the heater of the bearing race in the dry ice. Place the bearing race into the housing tighten against the seat. Let the cool to room temperature. Assemble the immediate shaft assembly by the following. Place the high board gear bearer on the ind indication of the uh, induction heat of the heat to 175 degrees um, Remove the hypo gear for the indication heater. Install the intermediate shaft. And install the 18 bolts and lock wire bolt, uh, bolts in pairs. Place the bearing shaft, bearing and roller blade, roller assembly on the induction heat, heat to, to 112 to 100 degrees um, Celsius above intermediate shaft temperature. Remove the bearing end of the roller assembly from the heater. Install the intermediate shaft. Tighten against the seals. Use a suitable lifting device. Place the intermediate shaft assembly in the gearbox. Position the shim back in the bearing housing on the gearbox. Install the lock and not lock, install nine lock washers and cap screws. Be sure to use the original shim pack. Guide the intermediate shaft assembly into the bolt of the bearing housing. Install the split um, space for bearing housing. Assembly continued. Install nine lock washer and cap screws. K. Apply the film and lubricating of the um, to the bearings. Um, position the gasket. Cover the plates. Install the six lock washer and cap screws. Install the two upper um, axle linings, gaskets, upper seal rings. Install the lock washers and cap screws. Position the shim pack and plate in the motor, ho motor housing. Install the eight lock washer and cap screws. Thirty eight. Um, warning: Head headed heated parts that can may cause injury to the personnel if hand protection is not warm when handled. Wearing protective goggles for the maximum protection. Place the seal collar on the indication heater. Heat the collar to. 250 degrees, 100 degrees Celsius. Remove the seal collar from the heater of the insulation shaft on the armature. Tighten against the shaft shoulder. Hold in place until cold. Um, check the bearing parts for the thoroughly clean. Weigh, weigh 5 ounces of the grease and debris as shown. Do not um, exceed temperatures specified below. The grease may be damaged by oil bleeding. Um, place the bearing and the housing on the induction heater. Heat the housing to 158 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove the bearing housing he heater from the housing from the heater. Install the two ball bearings face to the face. Narrow shoulders, outer race of the together into the housing but housing fit. Check the bearing seat against the housing. All right, use two and a half inches of the grease in this cavity. Use three and a one three and three quarters of an ounce in the grease in this cavity. 
Do not use five eighths of an use five eighths uh, five eighths of an ounce of grease. Do not force the between the balls. Use five eighths of an ounce of the grease and to smear the grease of the seals. Assembly continued. Place the housing bearing assembly on the deduction heater. Heat of the assembly to 194 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove the housing of the bearing assembly to the heater. Install the shaft and the armature. Check the inner face of the bearing. It's tight against the sealed collar. Hold the place until cold. Install, um, install the clamp plate into the two tab bars. Four cap screws. Type screw, tighten the cap screws in a uniform to 90 to 10 pound foot. Uh, or lock, lock, lock the cap screws in the bending cord. Corners of the tab bars against the flat bar of the cap screw heads. Position the gasket grease compact um, bearings in the bearing of the housing. Install the four flat headed screws to rotate the bearing assembly hand. Check from the freedom of the rotation position the shim pack and plate of the motor housing. Install the eight lock washers and cap screws. Warning components of the traction motor are heavier and may be awkward to handle. To use the correct lifting and procedures indicated lifting devices and or assistance of other personnel to, to avoid injury. Use a suitable lifting device. Place the motor um, housing in the horizontal position a suitable support device. Wrap insulation paper to the communicator armature to prevent damage install uh, the two three eighths but three eighths sixteenths or five in, five fifteen inch guide bo um, bolts in the tap holes in the bearing housing put place a sling around the punching of the armature next to the fan end of the use of suitable lifting devices to lift the armature horizontal position until it's level with the bore of the motor housing guide the armature in the motor housing take care of the dam not to the damage communicator insult the two guide bolts and through the two lat lower cap screws um, holes in the end plate Traction motor assembly continued. Install six lock washer cap screws. Tighten the cap screws evenly. Remove the two guide bolt. Installation remain in the lock washer cap screws. Remove installation paper from the communicator. Position the four cap um, clamps. Position brush holders in motor housing. Install the four lock washers cap screws. Adjust the brushing holders to one sixteenth of an inch. Clearance from the communicator connection. The brush holders electrical leads from the move tags. Install the two covers. Position the wire bracket in the clamp. Install the four lock washers and cap screws. Install the floor. Brushes and the four br um, four brush holders adjust the proper spring pressure. Remove the TM from TM five five two two ten two two four twelve. Replace the motor on the floor vertical position supported by the motor noise suspension suitable support device. A warning: and head parts may cause injury to the personnel if in hand. Protection is not worn when handled. Wear the protective gloves for the maximum protection. Place fan on the indication heater with the heat of the fan of three hundred fifty six degrees above the sh um, shaft temperature of the armature. Remove the fan from the heater. Of the install the tight against the armature. Head hold in place until cold. Remove the spacer inner bra bearing, bearing race of an inductor heater. The heat the parts of two um, 120 degrees. Celsius. Remove the spacer inner bearing race of the heater with the set. Install the high hypoid bearing. Check the space that the spacer tightens against the pinion holder. Hold it in the place until cold. Assembly continued. Warning. Dry cleaning itself with PD680 is toxic but flammable. Wear protective goggles and gloves. Wear only use well ventilated areas. Avoid contact with skin eyes. Close with the do not breathe the vapors. Do not use near open flame. Excessive heat. They use the flash point of 138 degrees Fahrenheit. If you become dizzy, get fresh air immediately. Get medical aid. If the contact with the eyes, make wash in your eyes and medical aid. Immediately compress air. Used in the cleaning purposes will not exceed 30 psi. Do not direct compress air against the screen. Use goggles and full face shield. Use a wiping rag directly to the dry cleaning solid. Remove all the traces of oil, grease, with the pinion shaft and the armature bore dry with the compressed air. Insert the hypoid bearing of the tappered hole over the armature shaft. Rotate the pinion in the in the shaft with the proper fit. Install the pinion assembly tools as follows. Screw the bevel end of the barrel on the armature shaft. Screw the cap assembly into the barrel until the large piston piston contacts with the hypoid piston. piston. Remove the full bottle assemb full assembly with assembly tool upright. It fills the chamber in the cap with the oil until it overflows through the drill part inside. Use a one inch of the diameter bar in the hole to provide a locking um, a block for the cap instead the steady cap assembly position socket when wrench on the bolt. Um, assembly continued. Pres press the hypoid bearing and install the armature shaft tight in the pressure bolt. Do not mistake the inner of the bearing of the race for the shoulder of the hypoid opinion shaft with the checking the contact between the pinion shoulder and the armature shaft. Check the seat of the hypoid bearing uh, pinion or the armature shaft at 001. Um, 0 0.0015 of an inch fit feeler gauge to make sure that the shoulder of the pin in shaft is tight against the armature sh um, shaft. Um, 68. Remove the assembly tool, recheck the seating, and solve the lock washer bolt and bend the lock washer to fit the flat part of the bolt. Um, warning. Heated parts may cause injury to the personnel if handed. Protection is not worn when handled. Wear protective gloves for maximum protection. This shows the hypoid bearing of the pinion of the bearing inner race of the feeler gauge the armature shaft and the shoulder. Place the oil slinger at tw uh, uh, 
on 12 on the indicator heater. Heat the slinger to the 356 degrees. Move the oil slinger from the heater and the install the charm shaft of the armature over the threads. Tighten against the heat, heat head of the armature hold in place until cold. Install the motor um, on gear unit for, by the following. Place the gearbox assembly on the bench inverted with the normal position on the truck. Remove the motor lifting bracket. Warning components with the traction motor are heavy and may be awkward to handle. Use the correct lifting procedure identification lifting device and or assistance from the other personnel to avoid uh, injury. Place the sling around the motor. Use a suitable lifting device. Lift the motor to the level gear of the unit. Installation. Um, warning. Dry cleaning. Install the PD-680. The toxic will flammable. Wear protective gloves and goggles. Use the only well-ventilated areas. Avoid contact with the skin. Eyes and clothes. Do not breathe vapors. Do not use near open flame. Excessive heat. Use the flash points of 100 to 138 degrees Fahrenheit. Become dizzy. Get fresh air and get medical aid immediately. Immediately. In in contact with the eyes made. Wash your eyes and get medical aid immediately. Use a wiping rag. Dipping in the dry cleaning. Solve it through the cleaning of the rabbit fits of the motor with the gear gates of the, of the dirt and or grease of the foreign matter. Make sure the motor the gear case mounting of the face of the are smooth and free of them high spots. Um, check the armature fan and the hypoid pinion of the ob pinion end of the ba bearing and or race and they are installed in the proper place. Slow the guide of the motor into the gear case. Take care of the hypoid pinion meshes properly with the hypoid gear. Install the 12 lock washer cap screw through the fan openings gear case. Tighten the cap screws on e uh, evenly. I use a 0 .0 0 0 .0 15, um is an inch field or gauge edge of the, um, of the motor frame. Check for the mounting face of the motor. The gear case are full in contact. Use the pinion and mounting distance gauge and check the high point pinion with the proper location of the respect intermediate shafts underlined. Each of the pinion has a plus or minus variation nominal mounting to distance etched into the end of the high point pinion. The location must be checked with the possible readjustment of the proper distance if the following parts have been changed. The high point gears have been changed. Um, a new armature has been installed either with the new or old high point gears. A new motor frame has been installed. A new communicator and bearing has been installed. Traction um, motor assembly installation continued. Relocate the hypoid pinion for the following. Remove the cap, cap screws, lock wash, remove the bearing housing, shim pack, install the bearing housing. Place the hypoid pinion with the mounting gauge in the position. Move the armature by obtaining the uh, um, proper mounting dis, um, dimensions. Allow the two for plus and minus variations of the mounting dis dimensions for the particular pinion. Use a feeler gauge check for the record of the dimensions between the motor frame and the bearing housing. Install the shim pack of the 55 on the thickness of this. Install the lock wash 52 and cap screws 51. Recheck the mounting distance. Below is an example of the relocation. Um, the nominal mounting dimension is the center line intermediate shaft of the hypoid pinion of the 5.464 inch of an inch. The clearance between the mounting distance gauge of the hypoid pinion is 0 0.0. 0, 3 hundredths uh, of an inch plus or uh, minus the dimension marked at the end of the pinion. The illustration shows the hypoid pinion having at least plus 16, uh, 16 or 16, 0 sixteenths of an inch, which it means the distance between the gauge of the pinion uh, X dimension must be set at 0 0.46 of an inch for proper mounting of the pinion. Um, the actual mounting dimension is in the case of the 5.464 plus or sixteenths of an inch or 5.48 um, Inches adjusting that should be held within the plus or minus with the one um, thousandth of an inch of actual value. After the pinion has been set in the proper mounting distance, check the backlash of the hypoid gears and the indicator with the proper backlash etched with the hypoid gear ring gear as shown in the backlash is obtained with the shimming of the intermediate shaft of the gearbox shaft. The indicator with the value of the mark of the hypoid gear and the new gears only with the worn hypoid gear assembled. The backlash must be measured before this assembly. The used gear should be adjusted with this valve assembly. Make, measure the backlash as follows mount and indicator shown so, so that the pointer rests against the tooth of the face of the hypoid ring use the bar and end of the force intermediate shaft over the fuel in fully engage the hypoid gear minion pinion to take up the end of the play in the intermediate shaft right the whole while holding the mo motor armature shift sh shaft rigid rock the ring gear ring gear back and forth measuring the backlash from that dial indicator all right, this is the installation of your hypoid pinion with the gauge of the feeler with the hypoid pinion mounting distance gear, the intermediate shaft, the hypoid gear variation of a 0 0.564, 5.46 of an inch distance marked. Um, the hypoid pinion mounting distance gauge mounting the distance of these 5.46, 5.46. 464 nominal of an inch actual um, variation from the nominal mounting of the distance etched uh, here. Installation continued. Hypoid bearing dial indicated the hypoid gear. Move the hypoid gear toward the obtain and the backlash. 
Installation continued. Um, use an iron blue pick and check the tooth the marking of the hypo gear, rotating the gear back and forth over the several teeth. The contact marking lo lo located slightly over the center to board a small end of the tooth if desired. If the gear tooth marking is not shown to the cross of the bearings towards the small end of the tooth on one side, large end on the other side. Um, check the possible causes as follows. Check the mounting dimension of the hypoid bearing. Pin, or sorry, opinion. Check the backlash of the hypoid gears. Check the mounting surface of the gear or box for the damage for such a high spot. Check the motor frame for the mounting of the surface in the same manner. After the hypoid pinion is adjusted, the proper mounting distance of the tooth marks and satisfactory added of 0, 0.8 thousand of an inch shim, shim pack. Direct the thermal expansion of the armature shaft. Check the armature end play is between 0, 0.2 thousandths or 0, 0.4 thousandths of an inch. Refer to the paragraph um, 363 for installation of traction motor gear to the wheel axle unit. Move the one inch eye bolt, position the hypoid oil pan in the gear unit, install the three lock washers and cap screws the lock wire cap screws.